Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Hyde Heating and Air Conditioning Shop. Today we're going to talk about heat exchangers. Specifically, what is a heat exchanger? And if someone told you you have a cracked heat exchanger, how do they find it and what does a crack look like? So stick around, we'll show you the heat exchanger and what cracks look like. So the heat exchanger. It's a series of metal tubes or a metal cell. And on the inside of that, we've got fire burning actual fire. It's burning natural gas or propane or depending on where you live might even be fuel oil. And the heat exchanger its only job is to keep the products of combustion which are carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide and water vapor things that you and I can't breathe to keep that out of the air that we have in our house. So what the heat exchanger does is it conducts heat from the burning fire that's on the inside to the outside of the clean air that's being blown through the furnace. So a crack, or a fracture, or a perforation, or a rusted hole, whatever the failure is in your heat exchanger that's described to you by your heating and air conditioning technician, whatever that failure is, it's failing to keep the bad, poisonous byproducts of, of combustion inside the heat exchanger, and it has a hole so it can get out and maybe poison you. What I have displayed here are two 80% efficient furnaces. This one has the covers on, this one has the covers off. This would be the burner compartment area and the blower compartment area down below. And here's the same kind of a furnace with the covers already off. This area is the blower. Right through here is where you would normally see fire. This is what we call the burner compartment. So fire goes through these jets, goes into the heat exchanger, this is the outside of it, goes back and forth through some tubes, and then the exhaust goes up this metal exhaust that I have sitting up top here. So the area we're talking about for heat exchanger is the area right behind here. And you can see that you can't see into the heat exchanger unless you have some kind of a special camera or maybe take some pieces off to look inside. So here we go with a close up of the furnace I was just talking about. Again, down below, that's the blower. And this is what I was talking about is the, is the burner compartment. Those are all burners. And coming out the right, right out the back side of these, back in this area, is where you would see fire burning uh, when your furnace is on and that goes into the heat exchanger. So now I'm gonna come up top here. This is the heat exchanger. Move this piece out of the way. Right here, these are the different cells of the heat exchanger. In this one we've got one, two, three, four, five cells. And down inside there is where we'd actually see a crack. Normally this whole thing is covered up with sheet metal so we can't see into there. So what we typically employ, most reputable heating and air conditioning companies have a snake camera. This is a snake camera. It's got a long, flexible camera with a light on the end of it. I'll turn the light on. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put this flexible camera in some holes that are in the furnace so we can actually look at the heat exchanger. What I would do is I'd insert this into the, the heat exchanger. And I'm looking at the screen on my camera and what I can see typically is metal and I'm looking around for some cracks. I happen to know where there are some cracks in this, in this furnace. So I'm going to, I'll try to show you some of those. When we exhaust our, our looking around inside through the actual burners, a lot of times we pull out another piece, a limit. Then I put my camera right inside here and I can look around. And right now on my camera screen, I actually put an arrow pointing to it, is a gigantic crack. I'll try to hold it up here and I'll also go out there and we'll actually move the camera itself right onto it. That is a big crack in the heat exchanger. You can see it's kind of rusty and nasty looking. Now I'll pick up the camera itself and I'll bring it right in there. Right inside the limit here. If I can do this. With the magic of the cover being off, you can see that I've got that pointed right at an actual crack in the heat exchanger. Get some more light in there. That arrow is pointing at a crack. Let's see if I can help. That doesn't help. In this case, there's one matching that on the other side. That's what we're talking about when we see a cracked heat exchanger. Let me get some more camera angles and I'll show you this. So here we are again up top looking down at the heat exchanger and I'm going to lower this camera down here and I'm going to show you an actual crack on this heat exchanger. So going on down, picture this is that snake camera going in there and right here that 
is a crack on the heat exchanger. You can see it. That should nice be nice smooth metal and sure enough there's a big old crack right there. You can see it. We'll leave this furnace and we'll go over to the other one over here. This is a, a similar furnace, another, another this is a, a Bryant furnace. And for you techs out there, I'm going to put this camera down and I'm going to look at that same spot in the heat exchanger, that, fur, that curve right there. And look at that, another big old crack right there in the heat exchanger. Put my finger on it if I can feel my finger at the same time. There, that's a, that's a big crack. And a lot of these crack in that same spot. And one thing I wanted to point out is this heat exchanger, different than the other one we were at, if you were to put your camera in where the limit comes through, there are actually no cracks in that spot right there. So in order to see this crack in the heat exchanger, I had to pull the blower motor and put my camera in from down below. You can see if I shine my light down there, way down at the bottom, that's where the fan would be and it'd be blowing up here. So you can pull the blower motor out and run your snake camera up through the bottom. So to recap everything, in order to diagnose a cracked heat exchanger on a furnace like this, you need a good quality snake camera to poke into the heat exchanger to look around for, it, for a crack, or pull the blower motor out, use the same camera to come up from down below. If you fail to find a crack with a snake camera like this, the next step is to use your combustion analyzer. This specialized tool actually will, will do a measurement of the exhaust gases to further help us document a, heat, a cracked heat exchanger. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for calling Hyde Heating and Air Conditioning.